Okay, let's factor the equation x squared plus 5x minus 24 equals 0. And we're going to use these guidelines here to help us. The first thing we do, we need to set up a skeleton equation. So I've done that right there. Next, we're going to add the signs into our skeleton equation. So we have a positive and then a negative here in our equation. If the last term is negative, we're going to put a positive and a negative in our skeleton equation. So we've got that. Next, we're going to find the factors for the last term. That's the negative 24, and they need to add up to the middle term. That's the 5. So the factors of 24, 1 times 24, can't do that. 2 times 12, that doesn't work. 8 and 3, that could work, because if we put the 8 here and the 3 here, we would have our 8 times 3 would give us the 24, and then 8x and negative 3x gives us 5x. So we factored the equation x squared plus 5x minus 24. But we should check our work with the FOIL method here. So the first term, x times x, is x squared outside. x times negative 3 is negative 3x inside. 8 times x, that gives us 8x. And then the last terms, 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. Let's combine these terms right here, and we get the same thing that we started out with. So by using the FOIL method, we show that we did this part correctly. Let's find the values for x that'll make this all equal to 0. 0 equals 0, that's a true statement. So we say x plus 8 equals 0, x would equal a negative 8. Over here, x minus 3 equals 0, x would equal 3. If you put negative 8 in for x here, and you did the math, this would all equal 0. Likewise, if you put 3 in for x and you did the math, it would all equal 0. So we did this correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you would get these same answers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 5x minus 24 equals 0. Thanks for watching.